Hi everybody, it's Claire from Clear Path Guidance coming to you for a mid-month reading for the month of October and the sign of Gemini. So I decided that I'm going to do mid-month readings and beginning of the month readings because I think it's too much to have weekly readings and uh, um, I just don't want to overwhelm you guys. So I pulled three cards ahead of time here and this is for the sign of Gemini for the middle of the month for October. So the very first card here that I pulled is the King of Pentacles. And this is a strong, imposing man. And you can see in the background here, he's got his castle and you can see his lush garden, okay? He's surrounded by the lush garden. And this is the type of man that is, his demeanor is calm, lethargic, cautious, this is not the King of Swords, who is a man, could be a man of action. This is, this is not a man of action, uh, more of a man of introspection. He's proud, self-reliant, confident in that which he knows. He's worked hard to where he is at and plans to stay in charge. Okay, so this man also, and he works hard and he likes to inspire others to work hard. Not a risk taker and he plays it safe. And he's quiet and speaks little, but he's charming. And people like to listen to him because of all his, uh, his stories. The amazing tales and, uh, that he can tell. And he does captivate audiences. Okay, and this man isn't the kind of man that will give his opinion out unless it's asked for. And uh, sticks close to the people that he loves. And he provides and sacrifices for them. And will stick with you through thick and thin as long as you do your best and don't become a burden. Uh, how, do, how shall I say this? Uh, um, you don't become burdensome and you keep trying, if you keep trying your best, he will stick with you even if you're burdened because he loves you. Okay, so this could be a man that's coming into your life. It's a good omen uh, in regards to love or it could also mean that the man that you're, uh, in your, it could be you if this is a man listening to this. Or it could be a man that, uh, that you're with that can go to another level, okay? To a more comfortable place. So that is the very first cup that I pulled for the sign of Gemini. And then we've got the Four of Cups. Okay, so the Four of Cups here uh, shows a person sitting there under a tree comfortably, um, dissatisfied with the outside world, lost in thought and ignoring gifts before them. So you can see there's the four cups, one, two, three, four. One of them is full and she's focusing on the one that's empty. This full one here has everything that she needs. Look at it, it's so full, it's, it's piling right up. The house, the car, the kids, the pets, the job, great relationship, or maybe even not a great relationship, not even a relationship, maybe if you're single and all you're doing is you're focusing on what you don't have, okay? And you're taking uh, all the good things in your life for granted. So stop doing that. Do not have that mindset because you have everything that you need. Focus on the cup. Focus on what you have, not what you don't have. Okay? All right. So the third card, again, is a sad card. So this is the Five of Cups, and you can see all five of his cups are empty, but they're not knocked over, which means not all is lost. So this talks about sorrow and um, sobbing, brokenheartedness, and disappointment. So when you look at this, even though you have emptiness, it's just talking about you turn your back on emptiness, em emptiness, you can find fulfillment. And so it is also a loss um, that talks about it's the most painful um, when you turn on your back on something that you love the most and uh, focus on the most on, okay? And it also signifies one who has received less than expected. So you're expecting something from a relationship 
and you didn't get it. Okay. Uh, it also, the Five of Cups can also talk about, uh, it, it's a card which reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. What are you going to choose to focus on? And I know you Geminis out there, um, yeah, you have your own, some, you know, it's funny because I know a lot of real, a lot of Geminis and I'm not saying that, a lot of Geminis are dreamers and you have your own reality and then there's reality, okay? You dream a lot, which is wonderful. It's really, really good. You fantasize and, oh, gee, wouldn't this be great if this was like this and, and that was like that? And you wake up and realize the real world can be harsh and because that is the reality. And I think that sometimes um, that can cause a Gemini to, to become sad because they, they do realize that, uh, that their reality is really not... not um, the way the world operates so you know so so whoever's coming into your life here or whoever is in your life okay don't focus on on what you don't have focus on this great person that may be coming or may not or is already in your life or if you're this person you know and uh don't focus on what you don't have you know and um and i think this card also talks about uh how um, with emptiness, emptiness, you can have uh, find fulfillment in an, in uh, end of emptiness. What I'm trying to say is when when you have emptiness, you can find fulfillment. Okay. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, Gemini.